Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve some gate previous year's question from the chapter queuing theory. So friends, this is a gate question from the year 2014 set 1. So what the question is saying, the jobs arrive at a facility for service in a random manner. The probability distribution of number of arrivals of job in a fixed time interval is. So basically friends, if you have gone through the theory, it follows a Poisson's distribution. So the right answer is option B. Now moving to the next question. Question number 2 the says it is a gate question from the year 2014 set 1. It says jobs arrive at a facility at an average rate of 5 in an 8 hour shift. So arrival rate is basically 5 in an 8 hour shift. It's jobs per hour. The arrival of the jobs follows poison distributions. The average service time of a job on the facility is so basically the service time is 40 minutes. So friends 40 minutes is basically 2 by 3 of an hour. So now the service time is which is basically mu is 3 by 2 of jobs per hour. So one job is taking 40 minutes to be served which is one job is taking 2 by 3 of an hour. So 3 by 2 jobs per hour is getting serviced. The service time was follows exponential distribution. So now what they are asking the idle time in hours. So first of all we will we will calculate the value of rho which is lambda by mu. Rho basically denotes the time the 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 percentage of time the machine or the service is busy. So it is 5 by 8 upon 3 into 2 which is 10 by 24. So out of 24 times 10 times the the service is getting served or it is the or the facility is busy. So now friends what they are saying the ideal time. So basically ideal time will be 1 minus rho which is 1 minus 10 upon 24. It is 14 upon 24. So 14 upon 24 is the time is the is the part in which the facility is ideal. So now what is the time? So basically ideal time in hours will be ideal time in hours will be 14 divided by 24 which upon sorry upon it's basically it's an 8 hour shift sorry so it is a, it, so 14 by 24 jobs per hour it is idle so now it is an 8 hour shift so basically it is 14 by 3 it is 14 by 3 hours that the, is the ideal time so option B is the right answer now moving to the next question so friends the next question is says it's a basically a transportation problem if there are m sources and n destination the total number of basic variables in a basic feasible solution so friends if you have gone through the theory for the total number of basic variables in a basic feasible solution is m plus n minus 1 so the correct answer is option c it's a basically a theoretical question now moving to the next question the next question is from gate 2014 set 4 so what the question is saying at a workstation 5 jobs arrive every minute so the arrival is 5 jobs per minute the mean time spent on each job in the workstation is 1 by 8th of a minute which means that 8 jobs per minute is basically the time spent in the workstation 8 jobs the mean steady state number of jobs in the system so basically they are asking the length of the system so length of the system is denoted by ls which is equal to rho upon 1 minus of rho so rho is again lambda upon mu so 5 upon 8 into 1 minus 5 upon 8 so it is 5 upon 8 into 3 upon 8 so it is basically 5 by 3 is 1.67 so it is 1.67 minutes so the right answer is 1.67 it is the mean time mean steady state number of jobs sorry 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 it is not in minutes my mistake because it is not in minutes because it is the length of the system not the time waiting time of the system so it is 1.67 so 1.67 is the mean steady state number of jobs in the system so now moving to the next question so now what the question is saying they have given in the notation a, b, a slash b slash c 
dot dot d e f for summarizing the characteristics of queuing situation the letters b and d stand respectively for so friends basically e is basically the exponential time duration sorry arrival time duration basically what does what does a b and c d e and f i will explain all the things what what does a b c d e f basically stands for and then i will then will find out what is b and d for this particular question so friends basically a is probability distribution for arrival pattern so this is p d probability distribution for arrival i am let's say arrival is saying a lam lambda b is basically pro probability distribution for service pattern c is basically number of servers d is basically service rule service rule as in like f fifo first in first out last in first out si siro which is service in random order now e is basically the calling population size or cap sorry size or capacity of the system it's a capacity of system and f is basically capacity of the population or size or, or capacity of the calling population so now what they are asking what is b and d so b is basically probability distribution for service so service time distribution so either a or d b and c are incorrect and what is d d is basically service rule or service order which means q discipline so the answer is option a option a is the right answer now moving to the next question so the next question is from gate 2016 set 2 they are saying in a single channel quick queuing model the customer arrival rate is 12 per hour 12 customer per hour and the serving time is 24 customer per hour the expected time that the customer is in queue so they are asked basically asking waiting time of queue so waiting time is of queue is basically length of queue upon lambda and what is length of queue length of queue is basically rho square upon 1 minus rho into lambda so rho is basically lambda upon mu lambda upon mu is half so you can write it rho square is 1 by 4 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 into lambda is 12 so it is 2 2 it is 1 by 24 of an hour so convert it into 1 by 24 into hours into 60 minutes it is 12 into 5 it is 12 into 2 it is 2.5 so it's not 25 this 2 it is 2.5 minutes so the right answer is 2.5 minutes now friends moving to the next question so this, this is again a gate question from the year 2017 set 2 for the question is saying question is saying for a single server with poison arrival and exponential service time the arrival rate is 12 per hour which one of the following service rates will provide a steady state finite queue length so the arrival rate they have given as 12 per hour and they are saying that the which one of the following service rate will provide a steady state finite queue which means that the queue length is finite for queue length to be finite which means we, let's say this is a service time we don't know they have asked the service time only if for a q length to be finite which means that lambda must be less than mu because service time has to be at a more faster rate as compared to the arrival rate if arrival rate is faster as compared to the service rate then there will be a infinite q so for a for a finite q the service rate must be faster than arrival rate so if you look at the option 6 no 12 no 10 no so the right answer is option d the correct answer is it should be more than 12 which is 24 per hour now moving to the next question so friends this is a gate question from the year 2017 set 2 this is basically a transportation problem and what they're saying a product made in two factories p q p and q is transported to two destinations r and s they have given the matrix also the per unit cost of transportation from factory to destination as far as follows factory p produces 7 units and factory q produces 9 units so factory p produces let's say this is 7 units and q produces 9 units each destination require 8 units so 8 units if the northwest corner method provides a total transportation cost as x in rupees then x and minus y so basically y what they are saying they are asking y as per row minima method 
this the question is basically incomplete for why it is for x it is north west corner method and for y it is row minima method so let's let's say first of all i will try to solve it using north west corner method so for north west corner method first of all the first value is assigned to minimum of 2 to 7 and 8 so the minimum value is 7 so 7 is assigned here and this will get 0 and this is 1 so now since this is 1 so 1 automatically gets here and this will become 8 and 8 will become here so for nw method the cost is 10 into 7 plus 3 into 1 plus 8 into 4 which is 105 so now friends for the second part this is row minima method i will just delete it it is basically it is north west method now for row minimum method this is again 7 this is 9 this is 8 and this is 8 row minimum method it says that minimum value will be assigned to in in a row which is having the minimum uh, quantity so 7 is the minimum so friends for first row 7 is the minimum value in if we compare 10 and 7 now we have to for 7 we have to assign 8 or 7 so the maximum value which is which can be assigned is 7 so this will become 1 similarly it will work for 9 case it will be coming okay here again 9 for it 3 is the minimum value but we can only assign the value as 8 because for because r can only have value maximum of 8 so this is 0 this is 1 and again 1 will be assigned here so row minima method rm or row minima method the value is 7 into 7 plus 8 into 3 plus 4 into 1 if you calculate is 7 into 7 is 49 49 plus 4 is 53 53 plus 24 is 77 so x minus y is 105 minus 77 so if you calculate it you will be getting it as 28 see friends none of the options is matching with the right answer the nearest value is basically 35 so the right answer i will if i have to pick an option i will put option c as a right answer now moving to the next question so the next question is again from gate 2018 set to the question says the arrival of customers over fixed time interval in a blank follow up poison distribution with an average of 30 customers per hour lambda is equals to 30 customers per hour the probability that the time between successive customer arrival is between 1 and 3 minutes so basically they are having two cases in one case they are having the arrival rate as 1 minute which means they are servicing customers at the rate of 60 customer per hour and for the another case they are having 3 minutes which means 20 customers per hour how 20 customers see friends in in 3 minutes means 1 by 20 of an hour they are dealing one customer so in one hour they are dealing 20 customers so 20 customers per hour 20 customers per hour dealing they are dealing similarly for one minute also i can say that in one minute is 1 by 60 of an hour they are dealing one customer in one hour they are dealing 60 customers so 60 customers per hour they are dealing so now for probability for one let's say for one is 1 minus of e to the power of minus lambda t so now 1 minus e to the power of minus lambda lambda is basically 1 by 2 customer per minute because it it is in minute so we have calculated all the terms in minute so the time is 1 minute lambda is basically 30 customers per hour which is 1 by 2 customer per minute because i have converted hour into minute why so because time is in minute so either way you can write if you put lambda here in hour so convert 1 minute into hours also so it you will be getting it as 0.393 similarly why this equation because it it is given that it follows a poisson's distribution so for poisson's distribution is basically this similarly probability for 3 is 1 minus of e to the power 1 minus 2 into 3 so it will be 0.777 so probability that a customer arrives between 1 and 3 minutes is basically p of 3 minus of p of 1 which is 0.777 minus of 
which is 0.384 so 0.384 is 0.38 is the right answer because correct to two decimal places they have asked in this question